So before we get into the podcast, we wanted to take a moment to thank our sponsors, Boss Play. Uh, you can find them over at www.boss-play.com. They're an escape room in Oceanside, California. They have two different escape rooms. They have a, the Prohibition Ransom and the Chocolate Factory. And we've they've been helping us out for a while. We've talked about them a bunch of times. But we figured this time it might be better to hear from someone who has a more objective opinion. So, Taylor, are you there? I am here. Are you still there? This review comes from Clarinsane... Claren, Clarence saying T. That doesn't sound like our a real third person, escape. Taylor. That's a person. All right. Our third escape room with different people, and we finally escaped with three minutes to spare. We had four hints, but it was fun. You really need to search high and low and use your brain in this one. Can't wait to try the Willy Wonka. And who was that from? That's it. <laughs> yeah, I know you kind of Cl- Clarence you, you set me up a little bit with your cadence where I was like, oh, there's definitely more coming, but that was it. But yeah. <laughs> so those are actual customers leaving actual reviews about that how it's a real aw- review. Awesome boss play. So if you're in the area or you can get to the area, you should go check them out. Let them know that you heard about them from us and tell them that we said thank you to them. Because we won't say it to our, their faces. That's ridiculous. Never. Never. I would never say that. <laughs> Taylor and Alan talking about movies. They may be best friends, but they always disagree. Taylor and Alan. I seen that. Taylor. Yo, yo. Yep, that's you. That's me. Um, This last week, two weeks, I've been doing trailer reviews on our youtube and on our twitch i know you have been following them religiously absolutely i wanted to share some of the reactions they've gotten so far okay let's hear it um let's see pull this up so the happy time murders have you heard of this i i don't know because you're you're cutting out so much and i'm trying not to say anything (laughs) The the Happy Time Murders. Do you know this movie? Uh, yeah the the Muppets one. Yes. Uh, have you seen the trailer? I've seen a trailer for it. Yes. Hello. Have you seen the trailer? Yes, I've seen a trailer. What did you think? Um. Pr- I don't know. Probably not gonna be my thing. Yeah. That's how I. It felt. looks like it, it's got potential, but I'm not getting my hopes up. Yeah. I, I felt pretty similar way. I was like, you know, this doesn't really seem like my type of humor. I don't really want to see it. It seems like it's going to be kind of a one note type of thing. Yeah. It's just the same. Like, oh, can you believe puppets are doing this crazy thing? But we got a... And, and puppets being murdered. Yeah. We got a, a comment from the the snow Sneo people. Sneo people? Sneo. Oh, yeah, I know them. Yeah, they said, I wish you held off on your thoughts until after viewing the film instead of before. I was one of the puppeteers for it, and I think people will thoroughly enjoy it. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, So, from someone who works on the movie, they think it's going to be a good one, which I don't blame them. I mean, you work on something, you're going to... You're gonna like but it the, more. But they understand you're not reviewing the movie. Yeah, right? I've gotten that a similar comment. Not this is the first person who actually worked on a movie comment on it. But I've gotten a few comments where people are like, "You can't judge I a whole movie. This movie. You can't judge a whole movie based off the trailer. That's dumb." I'm like, I know. I'm yes, just judging the trailer. I'm I'm watching the trailer and deciding: Do I want to see this movie based on the trailer, or do I want to wait to stream it? Or am I just going to kind of skip it in general? Because I have nothing else to base it on other than the trailer. Not going to go see every single movie. But I can watch a bunch of trailers and get a good idea of what I want to see. So if you watch these videos and you feel the need to tell me you can't judge a movie based on the trailer, I understand. I got it. (laughs) But I do do feel – I don't feel bad. That I, I am not excited for it, and that this guy worked on it and saw me say I'm not excited for it. Like I don't feel guilty about that, <laughs> but I, I don't want to hurt people's feelings, and I I don't think I was unfair in my uh, trailer review. I think I was pretty accurate. That uh, it's just not my type of movie. Yeah. 
But I did invite him on the podcast to talk about it, but I doubt he'll uh, get back to me on that. That would be pretty cool. I would watch it if we could talk to, or if we could get someone who worked on the movie. Yeah, it would be interesting to just kind of get the background behind the scenes stuff. But I imagine someone who hated on their movie without even seeing it is probably not on their high, like top of their list of people they want to talk to. Well, come and defend it. That's true. That's my that's my opinion. But I don't. Ch- you come change my mind. I don't get to force him. Tell into me why I why I should be interested in this movie. Yeah, I mean, if we if he did if I did talk to the guy, I would but definitely yeah. see the movie first. So I'd have something to say. But well, yeah, of course. Um, the Little Mermaid. Did you know this is coming out? Uh, yes. Big Boy over on YouTube says that this gave him an American Horror Story freak show vibe. The trailer or your review? Ah, that's a good question. He wasn't specific. I th- I assume the trailer. He was like, but maybe... I was watching this video and it reminded me of Freak Show. <laughs> that's a good point. American Horror Story. <laughs> it it really it could be that way. Uh, <laughs> I do feel like uh, oh man, I can't remember his name. The kid who plays Big uh, Quicksilver. Boy. Uh, Evan Peters. I feel like I'm exactly like Evan Peterson. Evan Peters? Evan Peters. We're like twins. Oh my gosh. Are we doing this again? What are we doing? Are you still on your uh, twins theory from American Horror Story? Oh, well, that wasn't even what I was talking about. But yes, they were definitely twins <laughs> in the first I thought season. That's what you were leading into. <laughs> no. Okay, so wait. You and Evan Peter are, are actual twins, is what you're saying? Yeah. Just because different of... parents. We're step okay. twins. Step twins, and that is because of what you look similar, or yeah, what? we're identical. That's what I said the first time. Identical step twins. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Crazy Rich Asians. Have you seen this? Have you heard um, of this? I have heard this. I saw. I, I feel like I saw a trailer for it like a long time ago. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't really remember. I, I I remember thinking it looked interesting. Yeah, I I to me when I watched it, it, it reminded me a lot of a movie similar to like Meet the Fockers, Meet the Parents, um, Everybody Loves Raymond, where you have this person who is kind of out of their element implanted into this new mm-hmm. world, and there's a lot of friction and resistance from the family accepting in this new person. Of course, right. That was yep. what I said in the video, and K-pop lover Monstat said, "No, Asians are s- sophisticated. They wouldn't react the way like Westerners. The mom is very relatable. Oh gosh, you don't understand Asian culture. The movie was not cliche at all. Watch it. It is very accurate representation of Asian parents slash beliefs and the way of life. Educate yourself. The movie is also really funny." Now, I, oh. I had a bit of a problem with this one uh, because I've the, lived in Asia they're gen- they're, for the last eight well, years. So there's that, yeah. But on top of that, again, it's not like you're saying you saw the movie and it was not good. Yeah. What are, are you not clarifying that this is strictly a trailer reaction? I feel like I am. Is, I don't know. Maybe I'm not doing a good enough job. Is this the first of its kind? The is there not a lot of people who do trailer reactions and people don't are not familiar with this concept? I th- yeah, I think I'm the first person to ever think of watching a trailer and talking about it. Oh, okay. First one on so YouTube. You're a trailblazer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I was like, the the educate yourself part was a little offensive to me because he made a like, lot of you assumptions. Could educate your own self. <laughs> yeah, uh, I I I feel like I understand uh, Asian culture pretty well. You're um, being racist. You're assuming that since I'm white, I have no grasp of Asian culture. Yeah, and obviously, I I live in Thailand, so I don't know all of Asia. But to be like, I, you need to educate yourself on Asian culture is a little crazy, because based on the trailer, again, just the trailer, haven't seen the movie. I feel like I was pretty spot on that it's a fish out of water story she's she's dating this guy in new york they he takes her back to china and finds out that he's crazy rich and she's trying to fit in with everything and asian 
But I think she knew that part before going to China or wherever they go, Hong Kong. Or, oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know where they're from. But uh, I don't know. It's like, what, I, I don't know how much more I need to educate myself. Is there a... So it uh, sounds like you've, you've really got some controversy going on all of these trailers. People, people don't like my opinions. Not shocking to me. Well, but I've, always, I've always known that to be true. Because <laughs> I am one of those people. I know. Um, the monkey's head said that the Happy Time murders could have been so much better. Nerd Blurb TV okay. uh, says that the Happy Time murders feels more like a movie full of skits. Plus, I'm not into the raunch humor, so this will be a skip for me as well. You know, which I I agree. Like it did. Okay, so that's also someone basing it strictly on the trailer. Yes, that's how it should be. Yeah. Just go ahead, watch it, and just be like, this is why I'm going to watch it. This is why I'm not going to watch it. Yeah. Yeah. I, like, again, you can't see everything. It's impossible. There's This week alone, there is 10 trailers coming out for August 24th. Jeez. Yeah. Um. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Educate yourself. <laughs> there was uh there was a, a a comment thread I'll, I'll just kind of boil it down to the the point that i think is important one of the girls lorelei mission was saying that had you seen so she said avenue q which is a stage play with mu- puppets which is i think a similar tone just not a crime but i was saying because I, I hadn't seen that i was saying if i had seen the trailer to team america world police Without the context of South Park or like basketball, I probably would have had a similar opinion of Team America going into it that I do of Happy Time Murders. So maybe, you know, I, like I can see that it might be great because I think Team America is really, really good. I just think that Team America is really, really good because of uh, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, who are, you know, phenomenal at what they do. And this doesn't right. seem like it has that same caliber of writing behind it. Hmm. But I mean, just to be fair is that there are things that I love that I probably would have the same opinion based on a trailer. Like I know I'm aware that a trailer isn't yeah. the whole movie. Big booty boy says, love your videos, man. Big booty boy. <laughs> We we will always have Big Booty Boy support. Yes. All right. Here's my favorite one on Fantastic Beast Two. Uh, Glenn Wo Two says Dumbledore is being played by Ewan McGregor. Try again, pal. He's being played by Jude Law. Fair, fair point. I uh, I said the wrong Wait. name, <laughs> but Jude Law what? and Ewan McGregor are somewhat interchangeable. Which movie is this? Fantastic Beast Two. The Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. And then later on in the review, I said, oh, I, I really wish Johnny Depp wasn't in this movie. I feel like that way they forced him into the first he one was takes weird. takes everyone out of it, yeah. Yeah, and I, like, I would just rather him not being in it. And so at that point, he says, well, sucks to be you then. Don't watch the film. But we both know you will. Because you're not going to let your dislike of depth prevent you from seeing a great film. And then in italics, at least I hope it wouldn't. Ugh. <laughs> don't, don't ever talk to me in italics. I will never take you seriously. Oh, I'm sorry, not italics. Uh, parentheses. Is that better? Oh, same thing. And then uh, it goes on a little bit more. And so when I was doing this trailer i didn't i didn't know everyone's name in the movie i didn't look it up beforehand which i should have i should have done more research i just went into it kind of blind watched the trailer and gave my reaction as it was going on uh but he says at the eight minute 11 second mark i'm done watching your reaction after that comment that fat guy that american witch girl so that's what i called the characters trying to recall their name uh, and he was upset that I used those terms. There's a little thing <laughs> called continuity. Oh, that's right. Because I said, I wish they weren't in the second one. They're in America. They, there's not really any reason for them to go to London. 
to be a part of the second movie, right? My life, I've, I've been to a lot of different places. When I leave, the people in my life don't come with me. Like, you're not here with right. me in Thailand. You know, you're not living, we're not having the same adventures just in Thailand now instead of in California. That's what you think. <laughs> so, like, I was just saying, like, and I wish in movies they'd be more okay letting characters just live in, you know, the first one. They don't have to c- carry over the sequel, but they want to keep that consistency. Yeah which I get, I just wish they would be more okay not doing that because it doesn't always make logical sense and it's somewhat forced. Yeah. That was my point. I feel like that's fair, but he was very unhappy about that. He said there's a a little thing called continuity, which is why Jacob in uh, capitalization and Tina and Queenie are back for the next film. Many people out there, try the vast majority that are not you, like to see characters they've gotten familiar with back on screen to see where their own stories go this movie is not about newt it's about him and the people who are his friends something you more likely don't have around him that's why many out there wanted to see jacob and queenie every time he says the name it's all capitalized just keep that in mind return as well as tina because he's very upset the american witch girl in quotations that you derogatorily mentioned after all, the title of the movie wasn't the Newt Scal- Sc- Sc- Scarmander? Sc- I thought it was Scalamander story. By the way, you know something? You have to be one of the most miserable people out there for the stuff you're saying. Okay, I get your dislike for Depp, fine. But referring to actors like Dan Fogler as Fat Guy shows you're not a very nice mm-hmm. person. And from what I can see on my screen, you are the last person to call someone fat, chubby. <laughs> Also, why don't you go to your shed, take out your lawnmower, and mow the brown grass that's overgrown on your face? Rant over. Take it. So, hold on. This guy also worked on this movie then, right? I have assumed that, This so. is Johnny Depp? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh. He's burnt. Yeah, yeah, he was very unhappy with me, which I, I go back and forth about the fat guy comment, right? Because his character, uh-huh. Jacob, apparently is his name, is played out as being somewhat of a schlubby type guy, right? Like, he's not yeah. fit. He's intentionally, you know, they, no, they cast his, someone who is overweight. Cast, yeah. yeah. And part of his story is Queenie, the, the mystic girl, is, you know, they fall in love even though he's not, like, super confident in himself. Like, that's part of his arc in the first one. Yeah. Um, so like saying, oh yeah, the fat guy doesn't feel like an insult. You know, to me, like I wasn't, I wasn't saying like, oh, can you believe how fat that guy is? That's disgusting. It was just like, oh yeah, the fat guy. Like, that if that's offensive to someone, I apologize, but I don't really care. You know, like no, I'm not no. offended that he called me fat or called me chubby. Like, whatever. That's what you do. Like, who cares? Um. But yeah, he he was very unhappy with me about all of that. Goodness gracious! Yeah, that's funny. Um. Well, sucks to be you. Then. <laughs> but yeah, so are you planning on seeing any movies coming out this week? Here, I'll give you. Um. I'll give you the rundown of what's coming out on ahead. the twenty fourth. Okay. Let me pull it up. You have an L.A. Minute. Nope. John McEnroe in the Realm of Perfection. It's a documentary. Nope. Absolutely not. <laughs> oh, jeez. He wants to talk about how, I guess, me is gay? What, what do you want to... what? Yeah, someone on, uh, someone on Twitch once they said, or can we talk about how you're a gay person? Sure. You're cutting out. I didn't hear the last part. It doesn't matter. Let's talk about it, Cheese. Um, <laughs> okay. Beautifully Broken. Are you going to see Beautifully blo- nope. Broken? The Bookshop. Nope. Are you going to see Taylor? Can you hear me? Which one? The Bookshop. No. 
Or you are for real. Sorry, man. Take it back. Don't mean it that way. Oh, you are for real. Oh. so No, someone on Twitch. Taylor, we're, we're streaming this, so people comment. This guy, I love okay. cheese, called me gay. I said, sure, let's talk about it, because that's what he wanted to talk about. Now he feels bad because he thinks I'm actually gay, which I'm not. I'm married. I have three kids. Which but you can. We don't know yet. <laughs> I guess that doesn't mean anything, right? But uh, very true. I don't know. Cheese, how old are you? You twelve? You're twelve, right, bro? That's. I mean, that's. This all feels like a twelve-year-old trying to be mean to me. Uh, replicas. Are you gonna see replicas? Uh. I don't think that I've heard of any of these movies that you've talked about. <laughs> support the girls. Are you going to see Support the Girls? No, I don't support girls. <laughs> Searching. Nope. Uh, Papillion. I think that's Papillon. Papillon? Pep, pep. Well, it's uh, P-A-P-I-L-L-O-N. Searching and yeah. Axel. I don't know. There's not a ton of Never. good stuff coming out. Um, I have not heard of any of those movies. Yeah, I, they most of them look pretty bad. The I think they're very specific. I guess is a better way to put it. You you have to really enjoy that genre to enjoy those movies. And are they all the ones indies that, or what? Um, most of them are. Yeah. Like Happy Time Murders is not yeah. Axel. I don't know who's oh, who's well, doing no, Axel. I know that's not. Um, Support the Girls is an indie. The Bookshop I think is an indie. Beautifully Broken is a like a Christian movie. Nelly Minute is an indie. Replicas I think is a uh, like a bigger budget movie. But Replicas, hmm. Replicas looks like a a, a batter a batter a worse version of Black Mirror. Oh really? I Love Cheese wants to know, yeah. do we know any good Mafia movies? Well, like Scarface is a classic. Um, no, Mafia is the best Mafia movie. Ma- like with the, the comedy one? Yeah. The spoof <laughs> the spoof movie? Uh, Goodfellas. Goodfellas is a good one. He said, apart from Godfather. Well, if you've seen those other ones, or if you haven't seen those other ones, you definitely want to show us. Scarface is great. Uh, Goodfellas is a lot of fun. Yeah, what's 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 the one I'm thinking of? Um, oh, the Martin Scorsese one, The Departed. The Departed, yeah, The Departed is good. It's slow though. It like it's slow, <clears throat> but it, it's it, it. I think it pays off. It does pay off at the end, but you it's two and a half hours to get there. It's not yeah, a good a rewatch. Movie. I guess is more my point. Yeah, I think I've only seen. I've probably seen it twice. You've seen all those Casino. Um, Sopranos. I've never watched The Sopranos. I, I I want to. It just feels like a huge commitment to watch it now. Plus, yeah. I I know the ending, or at least that that scene, the final scene. Uh, the Black Donnellys. I don't know if you've seen that. Um, it's no, not I that one. the Black Donnellys isn't great. It was a um, like an NBC, uh, almost like The Outsiders, but like mixed with mafia somewhat. Where they're like four brothers who were like trying to protect their neighborhood. Um, it was a fun show, but it, it ended after the first season on it like a big cliffhanger, and they never came back. So it's kind of it's kind of frustrating. Yeah. But the Dep is new. The Dep D E P. I don't know what that is. Do you know what the Dep mm-hmm. is? I don't. But yeah. So those are the movies coming out this week, coming out August 24th, this Friday. Um, some of them have been released already. I, I There's nothing really that's like super exciting. If you like outrageous humor, Happy Time Murders is probably for you. If you like, uh, um, if you like, what was I going to say? Uh, like sci-fi, you might enjoy Replicas. It's about a guy who like is trying to bring back his uh, family uh, through robots they die in a car crash he's trying to make them come back to life with through robots but i don't know i i would say watch uh team america world police or black mirror if you're looking into those I, i'm pretty sure those are going to be better quality yeah i agree 